Hi, welcome back to an episode of the Guns Book Club in the world. Welcome to the Guns Book Club. Yeah, today guys, we're extremely, extremely excited to look at the Guns Book Club in the world. And we have the injuries on this episode to continue our journey with influence the psychology of pronunciation by Omar Dick Randy. And today we are going to read on page 185 to 187. And on the PDF is 175 to 177. Let's go. And you talk about the vessels, how we make money. So I began to linger. My duties around Vincent's uh, tables to observe his style. I quickly learned that his style was to have no single style. He had a repertoire of them. He tried to be called on under the appropriate circumstances. Where the uh, customers uh, were a family, he was a fair seven, a very a fair, a fair vessels, a very a fair vessels, a fair, a fair vessent, a fair vessent. Even slightly clownish. Nothing is a remarks as a soften to the children as to the adults. If we are capable on a date, it became formal and a bit impressive in, in an attempt to intimidate the young man. To whom he spoke ex- exclusive, exclusively, into ordering, into ordering and tipping uh, lavishly. With an older man at Rapid, he retained the formality, but uh, dropped the uh, superior air in favor of a respectful orientation, orienta- orientation to both members of the couple. Should the patron be done alone, Vincent selected a friendly uh, demeanor, on the other uh, conversational and von. But Vincent reserved the trick of seeming uh, to argue against his own interest for large uh, parties of eight of to twelve people. Here his technique was uh, veined with a uh, genius. When it was time for the first person, normally a lady, to order, he went into his act. No matter what she selected, Vincent uh, reacted identically. He brought for his, his brow forward, his hand over the of his order, his order pad. And after looking uh, quickly over his shoulder uh, for the manager, he leaned uh, conspiratorially towards the table to report for all to him. I'm afraid that he's not as good tonight as it normally is. Might I recommend instead the death, death or the dead? The minister suggested a pair of any items that were 50 cents or less, or so less expensive than the Lisa Patron, expected immediately. They are both excellent tonight. This single maneuver, Vincent engaged uh, some important uh, principles of influence. First, even those who even those who did not take this suggestion, felt that Vincent had done them a favor by offering uh, valuable information to help them all. Everyone felt grateful, and consequently, the whole form of reciprocity would work in his favor when it came. Time to decide on his uh, gratuity. On his gratuity. But besides uh, I think the percentage of his uh, tip, Vincent Maneuver also placed him in a favorable uh, position to increase the size of the table's order. It established, established him as an authority on the current stores of the house. He clearly knew what was and wasn't good that night, that is at night. Moreover, and this is a very seen, seeming uh, to argue against his own interests uh, came in. It proved him to be a to be a trustworthy informant. Informant, because he recommended the dishes that they were slightly less expensive than originally ordered. Rather than trying to line his book, line his own pockets, he seemed to have the customer's uh, best interests in uh, at heart. To all appearances, it was at one, it was at once acknowledgeable and honest. A combination is that they gave him great credibility. And Vincent was a quick to exploit the advantage of his a, of this a credible image. When the party had a finished giving giving the food, the food orders, he would say, very well, and would you like me to suggest or select some wine to go with your meals? As I watched the sense uh, repeated almost nightly. There was a notable uh, consistency to the customer's reactions, smiles, nods, 
it was the most prominent general cement. Even from the distance of my vantage point, one could read the uh, thoughts from the faces. Sure, they seem to say, you know what is uh, good here, and you are obviously on our side. Tell us what to get. Looking please, we said, we said we did know, we did know is the uh, vintages would respond with some excellent and the uh, costly choices. It was similarly persuasive when it came time for uh, design decisions. Patrons were otherwise uh, would have uh, passed up the dessert course or shared with a friend uh, their way to partake fully by ministering the uh, two descriptions of the baked Alaska and the chocolate mouse. Who, after all, is more believable than a, than a demonstrator and expert of proven sincerity. By combining the factors of uh, reciprocity and uh, credible authority into a single elegant maneuver, Vincent was able to inflate substan substantially both the percentage of his tip and the best chance on, the, on which it was figured. His proceeds uh, from this trick were handsome, indeed. Indeed, were handsome, indeed. But, but notice that much of his but notice that much of his profit came from an uh, apparent lack of concern uh, for personal profit. Seeming to argue against his uh, financial interests served uh, those interests extremely well. Title. Readers read report from a young businessman. About two years ago, I was trying to sell my old car because I, would, uh, I had already bought a new one. One day I passed a used car uh, road with a sign reading. We will uh, sell your car for more. Just what I wanted, I thought. So I stopped in to talk with the owner. I told him I wanted to get about uh, $3,000 for my car. And he said he thought I should be asking for a lot more because it was uh, worth at least 50. It was because it was worth at least $3,500. This came as a real surprise uh, to me because the way the uh, con con signal system worked, the larger my asking price for the car, the less money was left over, uh, was left over for them to keep after uh, they sold it to somebody. For example, by telling me to ask for more than $3,000, they were cutting off their own uh, profits. Just like you visit uh, the waiter example. They were seeming young against their own interests, so I would see them as trustworthy authorities. But I didn't realize this until much later. Anyway, I went along with the owner's idea that my car was uh, worth more than I had a uh, first start. And I set my asking price at $3,500. After they, 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 they had, had my car on their, uh, on their lot for a couple of days, the court saying that someone was uh, really interested in it, but the price was a little too high. Would I be willing to drop my price to buy $200 to sell this car? Convinced that they, convinced that they had my interest set out. I agreed. The next day they called back to say that, to say the, the buyer's the financing get a foreign full and that he couldn't buy the car. In the next two weeks, I got two more calls from the dealership. He's asking me to drop my price $200 to sell a seal, to sell a sale to some customer. Both times I okayed it because I still believed in the Vantras Morphy. But each time the alleged deal fell through. I was suspicious enough to call a friend whose family was in the car business. He said this was an old trick designed to get sellers like me to reduce their asking prices to super low levels giving the dealership a big profits when they finally sold the car. So I went over there and took my car. As I was leaving, they were uh, still trying to persuade me to let them keep it because they had a hard prospect. Who they were uh, sure would buy it, would buy it if I would only clock up another $200. Once again, in a later reports, we can see the influence of the Contrast principle uh, combining 
is a principle of a primary interest. In this case, after the $3,500 of the figure was set, each $200 unique uh, seems small by compa comparison. And guys, guess what? This is the end of the episode. So guys, thank you for supporting me. And I appreciate the to choose to attend first is that you choose to invest your time for me. And I can't wait to see you all tomorrow episode of the next episode of the book of the world, book club. We're going to start chapter seven, Scary City. And until then, have a good time. Take a second. Bye-bye.